editing black and white drama is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. All right, so let's just dive right in. And I'm going to show you an image that I took when we were on the um, Iceland tour that Luminar and Skylum hosted. This is what I saw. This is what I imagined it to be. So I took this shot, but in my mind, this is how I, in how I interpreted the scene. So when you're out shooting, don't just photograph what you see, photograph what you want it to be. So photos, as you imagined, that's your goal, all right? Well, let me show you how I pulled out the dramatic uh, black and white into this image, all right? So I'm gonna come over here to edits and I'm just gonna discard all of them and we'll start fresh. Now, the first thing I need to do is before I even enhance the image, I wanna change the sky and I'm gonna come right over here to my creative tools, Sky AI. And from here, I'm gonna select, uh, let's go dramatic. Uh, number two looks good. Yeah, that's good. So let's let's change the sky to this. Now, the reason why I'm changing the sky first is because everything we do from this point on, I want the sky to be incorporated into the edits. If we did the black and white first, then did the sky, the sky would come out in color and that's not what we want, all right? So I like how all this looks, we're fine. Now let's convert it to black and white. So under the essentials, I'll come to black and white. And I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna accept the defaults for right now. Now I could come in and see where there's reds in the scene, you know, or yellows. Actually, I'll do a little bit of it here. And then, you know, I can enhance it from there. But for now, let's just leave it where it's at. So, so far, it's getting to that look that I'm going for. Now, I like where I'm at. What I need to do is I want to darken this foreground area here. So, I'm going to use the Relight tool. And what's nearest to, the, look at that, what's nearest to the camera, I want it to darken. Look at that. So, it's almost like I'm using, well, I am using 3D mapping. And we'll go right about to there. Before, after, good. Now it's setting the tone that I'm looking for. I have that set. Now I do want to add some structure to this. I'm going to boost it up quite a bit. Ooh, look at that. Look, look how it's bringing it out from here to here. Now I'm, I'm now it's coming closer to what I envisioned. So now that I have that set, I do want to darken some of the edges. So I want the focus to be on the church. So Vignette will do a great job at that. So I'm going to choose the church. Dial this back a bit. Dial this in. A little too much. Right about there. But I want to come down to advance. Ooh, there we go. I want to add some inner light and just feather it a bit. Now let's see what that just did. We went from this to here. So you see how it's drawing the attention to the to the church? And I did that because we added that inner light. So now that, now that I have that looking really good, um, one of my favorite tools is Traumatic. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to add that my sports grip look. I'm going to add that to this scene, just like that. And if I come down to the brightness part of it, I could either decide to brighten up the whole overall scene or dial it back. Saturation really isn't playing too much of a role because we already desaturated by using the black and white slider or tool rather. So here we are, look at this, before, after, nice. And I wanna finish it off with, no, not mood, but let's go with mystical. Yeah, so mystical is gonna give us that, well, if I click here on the information icon, it'll actually tell me 
what the mystical tool is doing for me. It's going to give me that dreamy type look that I'm looking for. Well, that's what I want. So I'm going to come in here. Let's dance with the shadows a little bit. Smooth it out. Yeah, right there. Now, I'm not going to colorize it. I could change, you know, if I wanted to add a little color to the scene um, from here. You see the difference? Um, I, I would rather just leave it because this is what I'm imagining. So before, after, look what that's doing. So here we are. We started with this. In a, a very, very short time, this is what we ended up with. And that's what I imagined when we were out there photographing. I, I, I saw this church and I said, oh, man, I really wish right now we had those really dramatic skies. We didn't have it. That's okay. I'm able to add it inside uh, Luminar Neo. But notice what I did first. Start at the base. Then from the base, now we added the skies because I want the skies to get the same treatment with the rest of the tools. All right? So there we have it. Being able to edit a nice image and giving it more of that traumatic type look that we're going for. All right? Perfect. Well, if you're here, please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment. For everyone else, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you at the next coffee break.